so beautifully different. Thunderbird 64 takes off where others leave off. Let's meet the owner of this 1964 Thunderbird. His name is Jose, and he's gonna to talk to us a little bit about his car and all the details it has. Jose, tell me a little bit about your car. Well, this is a 64 Thunderbird. Thunderbird 64. Thunderbird 64. As you can see, it's in a different type of color. It's uh, called rose beige. There's not too many of those in, in, in that color. Uh, it's got the uh, 390 V8. It's uh, 300 horsepower. Can it you show it to has us? Wow. This one came with uh, air conditioning and a very basic uh, system set up as uh, cruise control, which was also very rare at the time. Nice. And how long have you had her? I've had her for about six years now. So tell me a little bit about the Thunderbird. Why a Thunderbird? You know, it's one of those things that I've always left it. The, uh, the, the, uh, the shape of it is, is different. You don't see anything like this. It was uh, one of the first uh, personal luxury cars that, that came out. Uh, this one also has uh, another rare option, which is the uh, passenger seat. The headrest goes up and the seat comes down. These Thunderbirds were also known for having airplane uh, inspired interiors with the pods coming at you and the levers to open the uh, airflow. Uh, kind of set up like an airplane. As you can see, the uh, the back seat is kind of like a lounge. They're curved on both sides with the armrest in the middle. And also something rare for, for any other car actually just is the... Uh, There's also a swing away steering wheel. The steering. the steering wheel moves to the side. I always say that that it was either for to let the ladies out or to let the fat guys in. <laughs> It's a little long, huh? It's, it's, a, it's a long car for being basically a, what they call a, a personal luxury, but it is uh, quite long. This one was supposed to originally come out with the sequential taillights, which became famous for the Thunderbirds, but they couldn't get it approved in all 50 states, so uh, they, they, didn't, they held it back to the 65s. So this one does not have it, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty original. It's been repainted once about 20 years ago. Other than that, the interior is all original. Hmm. Uh, I did add the uh, wire wheels. Can you show me the trunk? Are you sure. able to show the trunk? Sure. The only this, thing, it's it, full of stuff, but it, yes. Oh, that's all right. Is this like a mob trunk? Oh, yeah. You can get a couple of bodies in here without any problems. Not only is it wide. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. You're good. It also, I've kind of created this to keep things hidden, but oh. it, it goes down even deeper. Nice. So it's, uh, so it's quite a large trunk. Very it's nice. a cruiser. It's a car to travel. Very smooth on the highway. It'll do 65 all day. I, not all day. You have to stop for gas quite often. It only does about 10 or 12 miles to the gallon. But Was but, this uh, something like when you were a kid, you liked Thunderbirds, or is it something later on in I've, life? I've always liked cars that are not common. Uh, this is the third old car that I have, and, and they've always been cars that are, you don't see, you know, like the Tri-5 Chevys and the Corvettes, and, and, and it's not that I have anything against them. I just like to be different. And uh, this is quite different, as you can see. It's the only one here, and most of the shows, it's the only one that, that you see. And what color is this again? It's called Rose Beige, and it is an original color. It is. Uh, it, they came up with that in 64. It came out in the Lincoln, and it also came out in the uh, Galaxy. And look at this back window. That is huge. You have well, no problem seeing out the back, huh? No problem at all. And, and then this panel here, actually, it's uh, uh, oh, specific to the Thunderbird, it's a flow-through ventilation. Thunderbird 64's new silent flow ventilating system provides a constant change of refreshing air. It has a lever that opens it up, and you can see that there's a panel inside that also has vents. So when you're driving and you open up the vents in the front, the air just swishes through and it comes out the back, and it's incredible how, how much, even in Florida weather, it keeps it cool. As long as you're moving, it's incredible how much uh, it cools down the car. How does it make you feel when you're driving this car? I love it. I love it. I mean, it's, it's, it, it just kind of slides on the road. People are always giving you thumbs up. They're always asking you what year is it and what kind of car it is. So, you know, I, I've enjoyed having it for, like I said, I've had it for six years and I've enjoyed it uh, every minute of it.